Hello all, welcome to openmentor.net. This is on C programming. Today we are going to see a string comparison and string tokenizing. I have declared two strings, S1 of 15 and S2 of 20. Uh, obviously by the size they are not the same. But I have initialized them to how is it. They have the exact values in them. I have got another integer variable. Now I use this strcmp. So whenever you want to access string functions, better include string.h. Okay. Now this strcmp has two parameters, string1 and string2. If string1 and string2 are exactly the same, it will return 0. Let us see what it gives now. You know they are exactly the same now. Let us execute this. It says string compare result is 0. So if two identical strings are compared, then strcmp will return 0 as a result. So in an if condition, if you want to compare two strings, you need to use strcmp. You cannot use a simple two equal to sign equal operator in a, st in a comparison of two strings. You have to use strcmp. Now, let me make this way. How is that? You know string 1 is longer and string 2 is smaller and though they start with the word how is. Now let us compare. They are not equal. String compare result is giving 1 as a result. If it results 1 or a positive number, that means string 1 is greater than string 2. Now let me just reverse that. This is how is it and uh, this is how is that. So the second string is larger and bigger. Now it is giving minus 1. It is giving a negative number. So if it is giving 0, then both are same. If it is giving a positive number, that means S1 is greater than S2. If it is giving a negative number, it means S1 is less than S2 by string comparison. Now, it is comparing the whole string up to the backslash 0 null terminator. Suppose I want to compare only the first five characters of two strings. All you need to do is strncmp. str and cmp will compare only the n number of characters that you are giving over here. So I am comparing only the first five characters. You know the first five characters are exactly the same. So it will, though the whole string is different from this whole string, you are comparing only the first five characters by using str and cmp. Now let us execute this. It is giving zero because the first five characters of S1 and the first five characters of S2 are exactly the same. So this is string comparison. Now what we are going to do is string tokenizing. Right now you know it is separated by spaces, right? I want to get the first word before the first space occurs. Then I want to get is. Basically split this word using this space as a delimiter. Delimiter meaning some separator that is separating your tokens. Each This is called a token. This is called a token. This is a token. Each token is delimited by the space. Basically divided by the space. I want to get token by token. So how do I get it? There is a very simple command for that. All you need to do is use strtok. So let me do one thing. Let me comment uh, these two lines. And uh, all I want to do is printf tokens, okay, percentage yes, backslash n, strtok, strtok stands for string token, the string from which you want to get the token, then the second parameter must be the delimiter, it can be anything, it may be comma, it can be uh, dot, it can be semicolon, it can be pipeline, anything. In this case, we know the token is space, the, the delimitary space. So I want to get that. Now let us execute this. Tokens. First token is how. If you see here, 
the STRTOK works in a very simple fashion. You have given a delimiter. It takes from the first character of the string, goes all the way till you find the uh, space or the delimiter. Then it takes this as a token. So this is the first call to STR token. Now watch this. I am having two more of this thing. Instead of S1, I am passing NULL, null. Okay. When I pass this NULL, see what happens. You will understand it much better. Wow. It is taking how, then it is finding is, and then it is finding it. So the whole word how, space, is, space, it has been divided or split into tokens of how, is, it based on the space delimiter. But this is the syntax. The first call to str token must be a valid string. In the same string, if you want to subsequently get the next tokens, you need to pass null. So whenever there is a first call to the str token with a valid string, it takes it from the position 0 of this string. Subsequent calls with null as the first parameter will take from the same string, but it will go to the next tokens or subsequent tokens. So in this session, we have seen strcmp, str and cmp, and strtok. Thank you.